The credit bureaus is always changing, so sometimes we gotta switch it up. And I'm gonna walk you through the whole process of what you need to do to knock them out, step by step by step. So grab a pen, get some paper, sit back, relax, we about to get into it. First things first, you already know, we just got to do things a little bit different. So I'm gonna walk you through the process on how to use Metro 2 to start getting some accounts removed from your credit report, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is create an account with Dispute Panda. This is one of the fastest ways to actually create dispute letters with Metro 2. So you wanna go ahead and create an account with Dispute Panda. Now, once you have an account with Dispute Panda, you wanna input your information. And I'm gonna walk you through the process of what you need to do on how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do is create an account with Dispute Panda and put your information and then we're gonna create these letters, all right? So once you're in Dispute Panda, let me walk you through the process. You wanna be right here. So you should be on the screen that looks like this. Once you're in, once you um, create an account, log in, I'm gonna have the link and everything for you. Uh, you should be on the screen that looks similar to this. Now, you wanna go ahead and go to clients right here on the left. So on the left right here, you wanna click on clients. Now, once you're on client, you wanna go ahead and create a new client, all right? So you wanna put your first name right here, middle name, last name, suffix, Email address. Now, for your email address, is going to be totally different because the one that you created with Dispute Panda needs to be different for the person. I mean, for um, for this one right here, because the Dispute Panda, if you want to start a business, is for a, you know, you want to have that specific email address. Now, you don't have to have a business email address. You just want to have two different email addresses. All right. So you have your email address. Um, another one. You want to put your phone number. You want to put your last for your social. And then you want to put your street address, right? So address, street address, city, state, zip, birthday. Now for right here, this is for when you start, like if you start a credit repair business, this is for if you add clients and you send this to the client so they can input their information, create an account and things like that. So they have um, safe client access. Now, after you do that, you click on save. Now, once you're right here, it should populate your name. Now Next, what you want to do is do documents. You want to upload two forms of identifications, all right? So this is just an example. You want to have proof. You want to have your driver's license right here. You want to have um, your street, I mean, proof of address. And then you want to upload, if you want to upload something else, you want to have three just in case you can upload your social security card, all right? A uh, picture of your passport, it doesn't matter. So after that, next what you want to do is upload your report. All right, so this should be blank. Now, how to upload your report, you wanna click on the left to train it. Now, this should populate right here. Do this populate right here. So how to upload your report. Um, you can use Credit Dino, you have Identity IQ. It has all the tutorials that you need to actually upload your report. So just watch the process on how to actually upload your identity IQ report, how to upload your smart credit report, and it'll walk you through the whole process, all right? Now, once you have your report, now it's gonna, once you have everything, it should populate some scores for you. Once you have your scores and things like that, you wanna click on disputing, all right? So, it should populate everything. Now, click on, it should already select everything for you, but click on save filter, all right? So, save filter right here. And now you're gonna be able to dispute. So start new round, you wanna click on that. Now, the attack, now you can use different attacks when it comes to dispute panda, but the attack I, the attack I suggest you use is the paralyzing um, touch point. The reason why is because, you know, we try to get things off our credit report as soon as possible. So if you attack the specific account, um, when it comes to fixing your credit just this time, all right, now we can always, like I said, we, can, we always gotta change it up. Credit, credit bills are always getting smart. So if we attack the specific account this time, it's a little bit different. So what you wanna do is just click on paralyzing touch point, right? So once you do that, click on, you know, the best of the best, all right? So click on Supreme Boosted, start round, put confirm, yes, this costs money, um, $17. So if you don't have money, you can load up some money in here, click on your balance over here to the left, and then click on confirm. Now, once you click on confirm, it's gonna generate your letters, all right? Now, once you generate generate your letters, it's gonna, you can either send them, right? You can either send them to, or you can use the software to, to send it yourself, or you can print them off and do it yourself and send it to TransUnion, Experian, or Equifax, all right? Now, here's what the letter's gonna look like. 
So here we go. Here's what your letters should look like. All right. So we're attacking this specific account. So you should have a lot of letters when it comes to um, sending it off just to Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. All right. Because what you're going to have is a breakdown for every single account and we're attacking every specific account. So instead of sending three letters to the credit bureaus, you probably have like, depending on how many negative accounts you have on your credit report, let's just say you had five on each. So you have five negative accounts on Experian five negative accounts on TransUnion and five negative accounts on Equifax, all right? You're gonna have five letters, five separate letters that's gonna go to TransUnion. You're gonna have five separate letters that go to Experian and five letters that go, that's gonna go to Equifax, all right? Because what you're doing is attacking the specific account and not putting all the accounts on one, one letter, all right? So we just making it quote unquote simple for the credit bureaus to actually do their job, all right? So instead of having all your accounts on one letter, we're gonna have most, I mean, instead of having all your accounts on one letter, we're gonna have one account attacking that specific account and what's wrong with that account. All right, so I'm not gonna read everything, but as you can see right here, the Fair Credit Reporting Act or Metro 2, I demand proof of how you verify accuracy and compliance for any account you claim to be delinquent or derogatory. This includes proof of permissible purpose for an inquiry, you know, things like that, all right? So we're not hitting on the hard inquiries right now. We're talking about these specific accounts so first things first what you want to do is you know just look at the account all right now you probably don't understand all this information and that's another video for another subject of just breaking down and understand but right now as you can see this is talking about that specific account as the account number everything high balance um is all the different type of codes all right so right here we scroll all the way down and you just read it I was looking at last payment, right? Or right here. Also, you see the image above child place, HR 12, BS 7. I've highlighted certain additional areas of concern. I was looking at last payment. I'm not going to read all this. BS 27, BS 27, expressed in 1101, 2017. The data on this account appears to be inaccurate or inconsistent with established reporting standards of the CBIA. I would like you to review it again and prove to me that everything is true and accurate, inconsistent, all right? If unable to remove my profile immediately, please do not hesitate in removing accounts which do not meet these requirements, all right? So we just break it down every specific thing that's wrong with the specific account, all right? And you can just go ahead and read over every last one of them, all right? Because it's gonna break down everything that's wrong with this specific account, all right? I actually have an account with Dispute Panda. You drafted up the information, you went over the letters. Now, if you didn't create an account with Identity IQ, I also want you to go ahead and create an account with Identity IQ and go ahead, I mean, depending on what credit monitor you have, whatever credit monitor you have, just log in and see what's holding your credit score back, all right? Here's what I mean. When you're on your credit monitoring or you're, you're on, you're looking at your specific account, what you're gonna see is inconsistent information on your credit report, all right? So what do I mean by inconsistent, all right? So if you're just looking at your specific account, go all the way down to the bottom. Most of your negative accounts should be at the bottom of your report. Um, so you're just gonna look at the account name, account number, and what you're gonna see is a lot of inconsistent information, but right now we're not disputing this at the time. I just wanna show you all the stuff that's inconsistent on your credit report, all right? So last report is probably gonna be a little bit different, but this one is the same. Um, date last active typically is gonna be different and other things gonna be typically different when it comes to your negative accounts on your credit report, all right? So if you have multiple um, accounts, what you're gonna see is inconsistent information as you can see right here when you go to um, your negative account. So most of the time, date open, date last active, last report, and those are typically um, gonna be different on your credit report, all right? So now that you looked over your report, you checked, you saw all the inconsistent information. If you haven't sent your letters out, make sure you send them out to Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, send them out certified. Um, now, after you do that, we have to wait, right? Wait 35 days. Now, in the in between time, what you wanna be doing is some stuff, right? So you wanna be checking your open accounts, look at your payment history, look at your utilization, make sure everything is reported correctly, all right? Because if your payment history is not reported correctly on your open accounts, what you're going to see is sometimes the they didn't report on time. Not saying you're late, they didn't report an on time payment. So you can be missing on some points. When I say check your utilization, make sure that your utilization matches because if you um, if you paid all your credit cards down and it's not reporting that on your credit report, then make sure that is reported correctly on your credit report because guess what? 
you're missing out on a whole a lot of points if it's reported incorrectly all right now after you check that now what you want to do is add credit if you don't have credit all right you can create a relationship with a credit union you go rip reporters with a call my tomo uh credit booth sell um boom pay there are different places you can go to that allows you to add credit but most importantly you want to go ahead and create a relationship with the actual bank all right a credit union bank because they are more lenient and they typically have no credit check um some no credit check products what i mean by that uh they can have a secure loan and sometimes secure credit cards might do a credit check but just look ask for the um no credit check loan or secured loan and typically that is a no credit check and this asks if they have any um credit builder products um at their bank and they'll basically break it down now after we wait 30 after we wait 35 days typically what happens is we get that investigation it, it comes back all right so when the investigation comes back typically what's going to happen is or the credit might not respond which is a violation however if they do respond back to you and send you some stuff some stuff might get deleted some stuff won't some stuff might just say verified whatever whatever however let's go ahead and file the complaint with the cfpb with all the information that you gathered because everything's very important. So make sure you save your letters. Your letters should be in um, the street panda, print them all, I mean, download them, and we're gonna create a CFPB complaint. And we also, you should download your credit report because what we're gonna do is talk about a lot of information when it comes to the complaint, because what you have is the report that is showing inconsistent information, and you have the letter that has special two um, compliance, all right? So you're gonna have a lot of information, right? a lot of evidence based off of what's wrong with that specific, um, that's those, those specific accounts, all right? So let's go ahead and file a complaint with the CFPB and I'm gonna walk you through the process of what that looks like. So you should be on a screen that looks similar to this. If you don't have a, um, if you don't have, if you don't have an account with CFPB, go ahead and create an account. Just go ahead and click on Google. Once you click on Google's, uh, put CFPB, click on submit complaint, and then it should bring you to the screen of inputting information, creating an account. And then once you have your account, now what you wanna do is just click on this right here, right? So you just go click on credit reported and then scroll all the way down to um, credit report and then click on next. So now what you're gonna do is just click on problem with companies investigation into the existing problem. And then you're gonna go all the way down right here and then click on their investigation did not fix the error on your report, all right? Now, have you already tried to fix this problem? Yes. And then did you request information from this company? Yes. What did you request? You can put uh, our request for them to um, fix these specific accounts based off of Metro 2 or whatever. Um, this can provide you the information. No, they didn't delete it. All right, that's how I feel about it. After that, um, now you're basically going to type up what happened, all right? So I'm going to have the type up for you on this right here. So I'm going to have the, the write-up for you. So don't copy it word for word because everybody's situation is different, all right? So what you want to do is create a CFPB complaint. And this complaint, we're going to be put we're going to be complaining against one credit bureau, right? What I mean by that, we're going to be directing this to just TransUnion, not to TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax, because what's going to happen is it's going to get, it's like, it's going to be have too much um, information or too much to say in this, but we want to just be addressing one specific person, or I mean, one specific um, credit bureau on this. Just check my report with Experian. And I noticed that they reported some inconsistent information when it comes to my report, right? I looked at these accounts and I just noticed that it's not reported correctly. The open date, date last active, all this stuff is not reported correctly. They're not following the Metro 2 guidelines. And I just noticed they're not doing what's required and they're reporting inaccurate information. And I told them to, you know, update, check it, fix it, and they did it, all right? So that's typically what you're gonna write right in here. And then I'll have the write-up for you and then what would be the fair resolution for this issue? And you're gonna say, delete these accounts. Um, and you can list all the accounts right here um, in here. So just tell them to delete this account based off a of violation of, of the FCRA, delete all these accounts. So just list all the negative accounts that you wanna get deleted. And of course, 
based off the law, which is 15 USC 1681 um, EB, right? Because it's supposed to have most, I mean, maximum possible accuracy, all right? So you can read that law as well and then select the file that you want to upload. So like I said, we're just complaining with experience. So you want to upload all the things that comes with experience. So go to Dispute Panda, download everything that you have with Dispute Panda and upload it here. Also get your report Get your report and I circle highlight the information that was inaccurate on Experian, all right? You want to have all that. So just have your letters, have your um, report, upload everything. And if you want to upload your tracking and everything, and then what you want to do is click on next, all right? So you should be on a screen that looks like this and just type in Experian. And share populate, all right? Experian information solutions, all right? And then put your social put your name as it appears on your credit report and date of birth, all right? And you wanna input this information. Do you wanna complain with another company? No, and then click on next. Now, once you click on next, all your information is gonna populate, all right? So, submit your complaint, just verify everything is correct, and then submit your complaint and just wait about 14 to 15 days and you start seeing some results. One more thing. Typically, the credit bureau is going to ask for additional information, like 60 days, right? So they're going to ask for an additional 60 days. Now, it's not going to take them 60 days. It usually takes them the typical 30 days, and you should get an investigation report back from them within 30 days, all right? Now, one more thing. Make sure you do the same thing, right? You just complained against Experian. Now you want to create a CFPB complaint against Charles Jr. You also want to create a CFPB complaint. You also want to create a CFPB complaint um, with Equifax, all right now. So now you have three different complaints with all the stuff that's all your supporting documents. And now typically wait, and they typically gonna ask for more time. But like I said, it's gonna take usually 30 days and you should receive something back.